Hey, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another Ballin' on the Budget. I got a quick video for you today. As you can see in the title of the video, it's how to make your own laundry detergent. This should last you about a year, okay? Uh, the last time I did this was about a year. I've been doing this laundry detergent for about five years now. And at the height, uh, all six of us was in the house, me, my wife, and our four kids. We have since had one child moved out um and one is almost out the door so um i'm gonna go through a list of what you need then we're gonna jump into the video of how to get everything mixed up and then that'll be it it's pretty simple so this is what you're gonna need is a box of borax i'm going to be leaving the list down below so you can take a screenshot you need this uh arm and hammer super washing soda and that is not to be confused with the arm and hammer baking soda now you don't have to use Arm & Hammer baking soda. And even though this is a four pound box, you only need two pounds, okay? Um, this can be found in the baking aisle. If it's not in the aisle with this, um, this and the borax and all the rest of the stuff is in the laundry department, uh, the laundry aisle, where you find the dish soap and air fresheners and all that type of stuff in Walmart. Sometimes this is in there, but Usually I get this out of the bacon aisle, all right? You're gonna need this three pounds of OxyClean. It does not matter what kind of OxyClean you get or if you find an off-brand OxyClean, um, just as long as you get about three pounds of it, all right? You're gonna need some scent boosters. I got this Arm & Hammer Clean Sensation. What one is this one? Clean Meadow. Uh, so these are 24 ounces. So I got 48 ounces of this stuff right here. Once again, you don't have to get armor hammer. You can get whatever kind of scent boosters you want if you want scent boosters. Um, I'm pretty sure if, with the OxyClean, if you went with the plain one, I think they just got a plain one with no scent. You can keep it all scent free. I know some people have some sensitivity to uh, fragrances and stuff like that, but you can get whatever you want on these ones. I usually get two and uh, you want to get some felt snaffa. All right. Um, these will also be found in the laundry detergent aisle. Um, I got three bars. Usually when I use the Felt's, Nelt's, Nelt's, the Fels Nafa, I do three bars. Um, but you can also do uh, Zolt Soap. Sometimes they have them in flakes. Uh, you want to get a box of those. Or you can get the blocks of soap. And if you get the blocks of soap, uh, you just need one. If you want to just use one. Um, the only thing, the only difference is these are hard bar soaps. Zilt soap is very, very soft, so it'll take a little bit longer when doing the prepping, but it's, everything else is all the same when it comes to this part. All right, so the tools you're gonna need is a mixing container. Um, I put mine in a bucket to mix from Home Depot. I just have one of those buckets, but I've mixed it in a tote before. Um, I mixed it in other things, but that's where it's going to go into right now. You're going to need a knife. You need a cutting board. And I went to Salvation Army and picked up a blender. Now, you can use a cheese grate. That's what I used at first. And I used the blender, as you'll see. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, powder in here, some baking soda. And I'm put chunks of, once I cut up the felt snaffa, I'm going to put some chunks in there, blend it just a little bit but you're going to take it you're going to do it sparingly because you do not want this to heat up because once it starts heating up the friction of it it starts binding the soap into the blade so you don't want that you just kind of want to pulsate dump that out put some more baking soda in, put some more chunks in until it's all blended up and then you mix it up a little bit at a time and then boom you have your soap so let's get to mixing this stuff up and uh I'll see you back in here in a second
right, so that is the video. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe uh, so you can catch any of my other videos. Um, pretty much, that's just the way it goes. You put it off to the side, uh, put it in a glass containers, um, and you only need two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons per load. Uh, they can go with whites, they go with colors, um, cold water, warm water, no problem whatsoever. Uh, I personally use one of those medicine caps, and we just have like a ton of them, the medicine caps. I just take that, fill it up once, throw it in the washing machine, and that is it. That's all you got to do. Throw your clothes in the um, dryer afterwards, after they get done washing, and then boom. This stuff right now still lasts about 10 to 12 months. Uh, we just ran out today. I know I personally made this last year. Unfortunately, I filmed this video probably like three times. The last time was like the, the one and I was satisfied with it and I ended up losing those files. Um, unfortunately, so I'm recording it right now. So hopefully, what is today? Today is July 5th. So hopefully, uh, maybe you guys can write me in a year and see where I'm at. But uh, either way, leave a comment below um, if you have any questions or anything like that. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.